Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're talking about Parrot Security OS 6.4 and if you're into ethical hacking, penetration testing or just love privacy focused Linux distros, this is an update you'll definitely want to know about. We'll go over what's new, how to upgrade or install it and why this release is a big step towards the future of Parrot OS. First, for anyone new to the channel or the distro, Parrot Security OS is a Linux distribution designed for security professionals, ethical hackers, digital forensics experts and people who care deeply about privacy. It comes with a wide collection of tools for penetration testing, reverse engineering, vulnerability analysis and much more, all pre-installed and ready to go. Parrot 6.4 is officially out and this will likely be the last version in the 6 series. The next big release will be Parrot 7 which will be based on Debian 13. But before we get there, Parrot 6.4 brings tons of updates, new tools and improvements that many users, especially from the community, have been asking for. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Some of the most important security tools got major upgrades. These include Metasploit, now at version 6.4.71 Sliver, a command and control tool Kaido Kaido! A rising star in web app security. Empire and Starkiller, both updated and ready to use. And much more. These updates improve performance, fix bugs and bring new capabilities for penetration testers and security researchers. Parrot now includes even more tools by default, such as Rocket, a new package that you can install using sudo apt install Rocket, Katana, Subfinder, VPS Scan and John the Reaper, so right out of the box you get even more value. The Linux kernel was updated to version 6.12.32 which brings better hardware support and general improvements to performance. Parrot continues to use the Firefox ESR or extended support release but with custom patches to make it more privacy respecting. That means telemetry is disabled and it no longer calls home. And even though recent Firefox updates change how configuration files are handled, the Parrot team added a smart fix. Your privacy settings will automatically be restored even after browser updates. There are also several desktop and system updates. The Parrot menu now includes new shortcut for tools like Sliver and Rocket. Many system packages were updated including curl, GCC, LibreOffice and more. The root folder is no longer word readable which improves security. Terminal autocompletion bugs were fixed. And new automation scripts were added to help streamline future Parrot OS releases. If you're already using Parrot OS, upgrading is really simple. Just open your terminal and run the following commands. If you see any GPG curing errors, which may happen on older versions like 6.2, Check the official website for a fix, they've posted a full explanation. Pro tip, if you're coming from a much older version or just want the smoothest experience possible, it's always better to back up your data and do a clean install. You can grab the latest ISO from the official Parrot OS website, and if you're dealing with firewalls or slow downloads, they offer torrent files with WebSeed support, so you can download it through HTTPS and avoid network restrictions. Parrot 6.4 wraps up the Debian 12 based releases. The next version, Parrot 7, will be based on Debian 13 and it's already in development. Some of the exciting things planned for Parrot 7 include Multiple desktop flavors, so possibly something beyond just the MATE desktop Support for RISV, which is a new CPU architecture gaining traction And more automation and performance improvements across the board. The Raspberry Pi edition of Parrot OS also got a kernel bump now running 6.12.34 and on the development side the Parrot website backend has been upgraded with newer versions of React and Next.js, making it faster and easier to maintain. There's good news for developers too. Microsoft open source tools like PowerShell 7.7 .7 and .NET SDKs from version 5 to 9 are now officially available in Parrot's repositories. You can install them using apt just like any other package. So in short, Parrot 6.4 is a solid and refined release. It's not just a list of updates, it sets the stage for what's coming next on Parrot 7. 
whether you're an ethical hacker, a cyber security student, or just someone who wants a secure and private Linux system, ParatOS continues to be one of the best choices out there. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends and subscribe for more Linux content. We cover everything from Linux distros and tools to gaming and performance tips. I'm Catalin from Linux Network, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.